What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. DMZ missions are where it's at. We're busy working our way through every single faction and every single tier in season two. I've definitely got you covered, but today we are looking at a White Lotus tier four mission called Mole Rat. Now, Mole Rat is actually a returning mission from Season 1, although it's been reworked ever so slightly. But generally speaking, a lot of the things that made this mission work or worked for this mission in Season 1 is going to help us here as well. This is a two-parter, and it does require you to do this mission on Al Majra. And more specifically, the area which you are going to have to do your killing in is the Saeed City area, but very specifically the Saeed City Mall. Now, right off the bat, some nuance with this mission is that in terms of calculating where the enemies, whether it's human or AI are, to count for a kill, it actually looks at the position that you are shooting from and not where the thing that is dying is. So in this case, what this means is that you could very well be standing inside the mall and shoot something that is considered outside the mall. And as long as you are in the mall or in many cases on top of the mall, you will still get credit for the kill. Now, this is a very important caveat and something that you should absolutely abuse because while in season one, this mall area was quite popular with humans coming into this area, especially due to the fact that there was a dead drop here, that's not necessarily the case anymore in season too and a lot of the times you're going to find this area not that well traveled not with that many enemies mulling about so you might need to get a little bit creative in your kills and as you can see in the background here i was shooting from the roof and essentially killing a human player that was all the way to the south of the map and i still got credit now another side note here unfortunately there does seem to be some areas on the roof of the mall which don't give you credit if you do this if you kill enemies that are further away in the background here as well now you can see me actually standing on the tip of the mall and shooting some human enemies down there and actually not getting credit for that so i experimented with this a little bit and it basically turns out that if you are standing on any of the edges of the mall as well as the raised sort of like roof like areas that, that kind of like go up in like a like a little bulge if you climb on top of those and shoot enemies from there whether they are ai or human it will not give you credit so be careful where you actually take your shots from if you are just making sure that you are standing on the roof itself you will get the credit also worth noting is that the parking garage structure next to the shopping center counts as being part of the shopping center so you can also get credit from over there so then as a last point just quickly focusing on the two different steps here of course the first step expects us to kill 20 enemies in the shopping center without being downed this can be on top of the roof as i mentioned as well as in the parking structure and there's a shitload of ai usually milling around here as well as inside the mall so simply climb up the side via the parking structure get onto the roof there murder the couple of tier 3 elites that are on the top there and then simply shoot into the mall and you will have your 20 ai kills in no time as for the the second step keep your eyes open if you hear gunfire nearby bring a sniper rifle with or kind of try to bait players into coming there i've of course also seen players employing a strategy where you can bring the weapons case and kind of throw it out in the middle of a field there and then of course players will see the weapons case and come for it this works super super well if you're in a group because it means that you can ambush these people as they come whether they are ones twos and threes and if you are really good at gunfighting then of course this is also an option as a solo because most often it will be teams or multiple teams coming into the area the good news here is that you only need to kill three operators and it's really really not that much so yes you will be spending some time here familiarizing yourself with the area camping it a little bit but you'll get through those 20 kills and you'll get your three operators in no time and we'll move on to the next missions that's it for the video thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far let me know in the comments down below if you struggled with this this was actually one of my more let's say favorite missions in season one and i was kind of happy to see it return in season two i'm also glad that you can kind of like abuse the, the the building and everything like that and that you're able to have more angles on getting kills as well as killing stuff that are further away it definitely helps the mission be a little bit easier but either which way you got this as usual it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning afternoon and evening wherever you are in the world until next video fucking cheers